Hi family, this is Mo with Moya Body Care and Colon Hydrotherapy. And yes, I am in my comfortable robe. Um, and I think I'm doing this video, well, I know I'm doing this video for a couple of reasons. Um, I've been sitting back and just being kind of, um, being an observer of what's happening um, with people's businesses and how people are shifting from being one-on-one -on -one or personal with individuals to moving their business online. And some people, I feel that, um, yeah, it works for them. It's good. And other people, I see they're doing it because the crowds of people are doing it. And that's what it feels like it's best to do is to follow the masses. But today I watched a video of a young man who is um, college age, young black male. And he basically did a video about how stressed he is. And this young man just broke my heart. Um, he's like, I'm trying to keep up. Everybody around me is encased in fear, encased in chaos. Um, he had like five assignments due in one night and then two assignments due the next night. And he was just completely overwhelmed. And as you know, I have a 13-year-old son myself who I've been homeschooling six years prior to this COVID thing happening. And so one of the reasons why I started homeschooling him is because of mental health. Not to say that his mental health was struggling, but I saw how the lack of energy being poured into him at school was starting to, to affect his mental awareness and his mental health. Even though I was picking up the slack on the back end I think it's very important to be in a space where you are supported all the way around and not just halfway. If that's the case, then we would be like this versus leveled out. And I believe that that is something that we should constantly be looking at is balance in our life. Because if we're constantly being like this, eventually we're going to break and we're going to end up upside down. And that's when trauma happens. That's when accidents happen. Unnecessarily. All of these things are happening unnecessarily. We have to remember that you, I, that young man, has the absolute right to pull out. We don't have to keep going. <laughs> it's okay to sit down and be still and push away from the table. It's okay to say, you know what? I am not keeping up with this. This is not in alignment with me. I can't keep up. I am breaking down. I'm drowning. So I'm going to cut the cord so that I can save myself, save my emotional space and be okay and revisit this next year, two years from now, or when I'm in a better head space. We don't have to push through it if you are breaking down in the process. You don't have to keep going. I've had a good amount of people reach out to me and say, oh, you should apply for this grant and you should do this and you should do that and you should this and you should do that. And Mo, you should be doing more videos and you should be, you know, offering this online and this and that. Let me help you understand something. My goal with my business is not to be so busy where my mental health has taken a complete back seat. I am not looking to have multiple offices. Somebody has to manage that. Who's going to manage that? I am not interested in taking out loans during this COVID-19 experience. I am not looking to go into debt. I am not looking to run around ragged 
just because the rest of the world is doing so. Yeah, I need to start doing something, but that ain't it. So all I'm here to say is, if you are feeling like depressed or anxious, it's important for you to sit and chill. It is. And if you need assistance, I'm here. 